brain educator and the social activist too. In the field of paper journal, I hold a word as well as national record. I have been awarded from the Central Ministry of India as well as many state ministries and the governors of two states. And I'm also an impanel designer and artisan from the Ministry of Textiles of India. So this is about me. It's more than me. It's been more than eight years. I'm working in the field of paper jewelry and art and crafts. And I actually practice a lot of art forms because of paper jewelry. And Varli is one of those. And I am madly in love with this art form because this is something very different and very beautiful. And now I really want to ask this from all of you that how many of you know about Varli? So if you know about Varli, please write yes. If you don't know, please write no. And if you know a little bit about it, you can just write it quickly. Okay. So there are a lot of people who know. We don't know about it. Okay. I can see very less yes, actually, in the chat box. All right. No problem. I'm going to tell you about Varli very quickly. So guys, Varli is a very beautiful tribal Indian folk art form which is originated from the outskirts of Maharashtra, especially from the Sayadri range. And the people who used to reside on the outskirts of Maharashtra, they used to paint their mud house walls using the rice water paste as the color and bamboo stick as the brush. So if you see this art form, this is a very beautiful art form in which these tribal people paint their mud house walls um, and this particular art form is actually a concept based art form because people actually make the reflections of their own livings and this is how this particular art form is done okay so you have to remember this that this is a concept based art, art form that you have to make the tribal life or village life once you start making this art form okay now before 1970s this particular art form was very much limited to its tribal region but after 1970s, things changed because this particular art form started traveling towards the cities and people started making colored whirly and everything. So I'm going to tell you the difference between uh, the whirly before 1970s and the whirly after 1970s. So before 1970s, this particular art form, as I said, was very much limited to its tribal region because people used to paint the mud house walls only. There was one base. But after 1970s, a lot of bases were also introduced, like canvas, paper, walls, coasters, pebble paperweights, jewelry, fabric, etc. Now, before 1970s, there were two colors involved, two colors like the natural two colors. One was the mud color of the mud house wall and other one was the white color of the rice water paste. But after 1970s, people started making a lot of colored paintings and everything using Varli. And this is why this particular art form came into the limelight or spotlight. Okay. I hope this is clear to everybody. Can you please inform again which tribal group? Okay. So, Varli is basically a very beautiful tribal folk art form, which is originated from the outskirts of Maharashtra, especially from the Sayadri range. Okay. I hope that is clear. All right. So, now I'm going to tell you what is the difference between Varli and other art forms. So in other art forms, we generally imagine it and draw. But in Varli, we have to keep this thing in mind that we have to make the tribal life or village life. And if you are just adding the modernization to it, that won't be Varli. So you have to remember this, that you cannot add modernization to this. You cannot make buildings, aeroplanes, helicopters. You have to make the tribal life or village life. Another thing is that whenever we are making the figures of Varli, uh, so we have to remember that these are the edgy figures, though we make other art forms and we make the curvy figures, but in Varli, you have to make the stickman figures and in other art forms, whenever we are making the eyes, nose, lips and everything, we actually make it in a proper way to show the facial expressions. But whenever we are making Varli, face remains solid and we make the activities and expressions actually different, different body postures. Because we have to show the expressions and activities through all those things like body formation, body posture, everything like that. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. Can I get some reactions? Jaldi se? Yes. See, my session na, my session na, bahut entertaining hota hai. So, koi vina is a bore nahi hona chahiye. Sabko ekdam enjoy karna hai. Everybody has to enjoy the session. Great. Fantastic. And those who are there on camera, they have to smile all the time. Compulsory, compulsory. <laughs> okay, 
so now today we will be starting off with the basics of parli and the basic has the basic shapes basic borders basic human figures bird figures animal figures and lot more things so and once i'm done with my drawing part i am going to show you the stuff whatever i make and whatever i teach in the master class and post that i am just going to hand over the session to our wonderful moderator shivani shivani will be telling you about the master class details and she has lot of you know surprises for all of you so as it is said that obviously you cannot just learn anything in just one session that is why bit class has designed wonderful session for all of you but today i will be covering lot of things so let's start off with the session and uh, yes everybody has taken the admission in nursery class chote chote bachche hai na abhi sab yahan pe because this is the first session so we will be going leveled up step by step and we will be starting off with the things with the basic shapes and all of you has to be have to be ready with the pen paper and scale okay and once you are ready with the pen paper and scale just write ready in the chat box the moment you will write ready and i can see lot of readies in the chat box i'm going to start off with the session okay i'm rotating my camera i am also ready with my pen paper and scale all right just be ready with the stuff very quickly Shivani where are you Yes yes I'm here I'm here ma'am Yes yes Shivani you have to take care of my students I'm giving them 1 minute so that they can be ready yes. everybody should be ready yeah Okay yeah. Okay we can ha we have already received many readies in the chat box Madam pen is scared madam 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 people please do not unmute yourself please uh, be on the mute only and if somebody wants to ask anything or there is any question just please put up in the chat box all right yes. yes i am back okay so i am also ready with my stuff and i am back and yes shivani was giving the instruction let me repeat it so if you guys have any queries any questions any doubt put it in the chat box i'll take your answer i'll just take your questions and i'll answer instantly and second thing is that if i am going too too fast during the session you can just let me know that as well i'll slow down my pace accordingly okay so let's start off with the session now and we will be starting off with the basic shapes so just write basic shapes over here and you know these shapes are very very important which i'm going to teach you guys so i'm going to tell you each and everything is step by step the moment i will proceed okay so i am going to make the first shape and this is the circle then i want everybody on mute please thank you so much so this is the hollow circle i am using few terms you can just make an arrow and write this is the hollow circle the moment i make the hollow circle and i fill color inside that that becomes solid so first circle is the hollow circle second is the solid circle third is the dot everybody on mute please mom please once you mute and uh, you unmute yourself i have muted everybody varsha mom you are still on mute please unmute okay yeah thank yeah. you so much yeah secondly i'm just going to make the lines so these are the straight lines or the vertical lines these are the horizontal lines and then these are the slant lines or tilted lines they are also known as the diagonals you can make the arrows arrows and write the names which whatever i'm telling now next i'm going to make the crosses crosses so i'm just making a multiplication sign i'm making the multiplication sign and making two lines both the sides then i'm making a broad cross and broad cross with lines the first two crosses are used for human figures and last two crosses are used for animal figures okay first two crosses for human figures last two crosses for animal figures then i'm going to make the cones 
and for making the cones just make a v make it upside down make it sideways left and right make the cone make another cone inside it and then make a broad cone like this now i am going to make the triangles and everybody has to draw and everybody has to be super energetic if you don't have the material with you don't worry you can just see the things you once i'm done with my things i'm going to show you the full page you can take that screenshot and practice later on so i'm just making the triangle making it upside down making it sideways left and right then i'm making the triangle and i'm making another triangle inside these are the triangles next i'm going to make the semi circles so for making the semi circles just make it like this make it upside down make it sideways left and right one line and the semi circle make it upside down and make another semi circle inside and once we will be proceeding with the basic human figures you will understand how important these shapes are because we are making them we are using these shapes for making different different figures so it's very important because we make the edgy figures okay next i'm going to make the curves so if i compare the curves with the semi circles semi circles are broader in comparison to the curves curves are just like this like this inwards outwards like this and like an s so if you will twist it too much this will become a semi circle so you have to be careful with the things okay next i'm going to make the oval i hope i'm not going that fast if you guys have any queries any doubts any questions put it in the chat box i'll take it this is your own session you have all the right to ask the questions okay do not hesitate so i'm just making the horizontal oval and then i'm making the vertical oval horizontal and vertical now next i'm going to make the eye shape or leaf shape now the question arises that i said that eyes are not made in the uh, figure but the thing is that eye shape also represents the leaf shape and we use it for making the fish bodies for making the borders that is why i am i have made eye shape so i'm just making the curve joined another curve making it vertically and in a slanting manner then i'm making the spirals spirals like this or like this <laughs> now next i'm going to make the checked lines checked lines are generally used in the huts for making the fences so i'm making the straight lines and the horizontal lines on them and making the slant lines and the horizontal lines on them and then i'm making the slant lines and the slant lines on them like this two more basic shapes left then we will be proceeding with the basic borders okay so now it is waves second last one is the waves these are the high waves and these are the low waves high waves and low waves waves especially used for borders and last but not the least i'm just going to make the mango motif it's m a n g o m o t i f sorry not e t i f mango motif mango motif has two other names one is in hindi one is in english the hindi name is carry the english name is pasle p a i s l e y okay so i'm just drawing it if you want me to repeat it i can just repeat it for you these are the mango motifs 
if you guys want me to repeat any of the things feel free to ask i can repeat it for you put it in the chat box i'll take your question because i am just going to proceed with the borders now and in the borders i am going to teach you different different patterns in one one border okay i hope everybody has drawn a long till mango motif okay i have to repeat the mango motif again okay i'm just repeating it it's like this motif is a kind of pattern only it's like this and mango motif names are in hindi it is called carry in english it is called pasle p a i s l e y okay so i am going to make the first border and as i said that i will be teaching you different different patterns in one one border so just follow this i'm just making the triangles and let me tell you that triangles and dots are very prominent in whirly this is one pattern you can just make simple two lines and make the triangles but i am going to teach you different different patterns so i'm just going to put the dots both the sides and with this the pattern or the design changes harsh uh, sorry to inform this but the recordings for the demo classes are not available the moment you will take the master classes yes you will get the recorded sessions for that okay so you can see whatever i am just making once i am done with my things you can take the screenshot of it okay all right so i am just going to change the pattern i am soliding one side of the triangle and the other side of the triangle remains hollow with a dot so this is how you have to change the pattern you can just make any of the patterns in your border any of the patterns whatever you want to make okay so this is the border now next border in the next border i am going to make the eye shape or leaf shape in a slanting manner eye shape or leaf shape in a slanting manner like this and again i am going to put the dots both the sides and now i am going to teach you different different patterns in this also i am just making the lines over here this is the line pattern and i am making one line in the center and slant line both the sides so this is the leaf pattern ha huh, harsh bilkul i am just showing you the upper designs don't worry and third one is the solid pattern so first one is the line pattern second is the leaf pattern we made it like a leaf and third one goes solid okay harsh can you see the page everybody those who have joined in late they can take the screenshot quickly half of the page because half of the page is still left harsh i hope that is uh, like visible to you i hope that is clear okay now third border has triangles with curves and you have observed this that we are making the basic shapes multiple times so you are also practicing it welcome harsh so i'm making the triangles like this and inside these triangles i'm making the hollow triangles again and between these triangles i'm just making the curves these are the triangles with curves i hope it is clear to my dear dear lovely students yes yeah? can i get some reactions if it is clear to all of you the connect is very important yes very nice thank you so much all of you thank you so much and i hope i'm not going that fast wow super fantastic thank you so much all of you now in the next border i'm making the crosses and see we are making the basic shapes again and again so we are practicing them as well i'm putting the dots both the sides you can also put the dots in the center completely your choice this particular border has crosses in it now in the next border i'm just making one line now this particular border is kind of a decorative border whenever i make this border i generally make it in the wedding theme uh, which i make so this is a 
a decorative kind of border and i'm just leaving some space i'm making a semi circle making another semi circle which goes solid and i'm making the line and the dots line and the dots line and the dots and so on to give it a semi circular shape again i'm making the semi circle making another semi circle which goes solid and i'm just going to make the line and the dots again like this as it सिमरन कैन यू प्लीज इलेबोरेट क्या बताना है डियर मुझे प्लीज राइट इट इन द चार्ट बॉक्स ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट बॉर्डर आई एम मेकिंग टू क्लोज लाइन्स लाइक दिस लाइन्स विच आर क्लोज टू ईच अदर आई एम मेकिंग द सेमी सर्कल्स ओवर हेयर मेकिंग द सेमी सर्कल्स ओवर हेयर एज वेल putting the dots inside these semi circles very easy border but very detailed and then between these semi circles i'm making the lines like this as yes, a this is another border three more borders left three more borders this particular border has cones in it i'm just going to make lot of cones together please repeat the last one this one okay i will be repeating it after this okay so these are the cones just make the cones like this and put the dots above the lines where these cones are connected and put the dot below the lines where these cones are connected like this and yes this is another border and now i'm repeating this particular border over here two lines close to each other semi circles both the sides try and make the equal sizes put the dots inside this and make the lines between the semi circles i hope it is clear yes akanksha welcome dear okay so now last borders last two borders are the filler borders filler borders are the borders which we make where we don't have the space to make the broad borders okay we use this board we use these borders in different different paintings which we make of whirly you can also use these borders in the coaster designs because whirly is not just paper centric you can do whirly on any of the things this is not just wall centric you cannot just do it on wall only kisi bhi cheeze bana sakte hain wali so you can use the borders anywhere you want okay all right so now i am just making this particular border and these particular borders are the thin borders so i'm just making a small small crosses together and i'm just putting the dots like this and then i'm making the slant lines together conical kind of a border i'm putting the dots both the sides and i'm going to put the dots on the edges as well filler borders these are known as filler borders you can use it where we where you don't have the space to make the broad border okay so we are done with the borders now i'm writing basic human figures but meanwhile you guys can make the borders jinka bhi borders reh gaya hai wo borders complete kar le because i'm going to explain something basic human figures now whenever we are making the basic human figures or the human figures in varli there are lot of figures which we make we make different different uh, god figures tarpa dance forms spiral tarpa parallel tarpa circular tarpa we make festivity figures figures with instruments we make the varli daily life and we bring the changes with the leg formation hand formation and body posture so right now i am going to teach you the basics because whenever we are making the figure suppose we i am making a figure of a lady who is cooking food so her body posture leg formation hand formation will be different from a person which i am making who is taking this uh, the stuff from one place to another so we will be starting off with the standing leg formations 
and i am going to teach you three kind uh, four kind of leg formations which you can make once you are making the whirly standing figures okay so the first leg formation is the left leg formation l stands for left this particular leg formation is used for a person who is standing and facing towards left i'm making a small slant line big slant line a small slant line similarly the other one this is the left leg formation just opposite is the right leg formation a standing figure who is facing right right leg formation then we have the straight leg formation s stands for a straight for a person who is standing straight but legs are not movable and then we have the front leg formation for a person who is facing front one left leg one right leg but legs are movable this is left leg formation for a person jo hum figure banayenge the whirly figure that person who is facing towards left this particular leg is used leg formation right leg formation for a person who is facing towards right straight leg formation for a person who is standing straight but his legs are not movable front leg formation for a front facing person but the legs are movable that's it now i'm going to make the first figure of whirly and that is the most important figure i call it the most important figure this is the figure of the man and this is the most important figure because if you learn how to make the figure of the man you can easily make the figure of the boy the figure of the girl or the women very easily okay what i have to repeat okay left leg formation right leg formation straight leg formation front leg formation left right straight front that's it okay let's start making the figure i'm just making the solid circle now all the basic shapes will be used over here i'm making the solid circle for the head straight line for the neck horizontal line for the shoulder cross for the body solid this solid this as well slant line small slant line for the hands and left leg formation for the legs this is the figure of the man arupali once i'm done with my drawing part i'm going to uh, show the full page don't worry those who are worried about the top of the page don't worry once i'm done with my drawing i will be showing the full page do not worry at all okay so this is the figure of the man now if i have to make the figure of the boy then i am just going to change the hairstyle and i am going to uh, make the height shorter so i'm just making the short heighted boy over here next to the man remember this i'm making his hand like he's holding the hand of his father another hand like this left leg formation like this and for bringing the changes i'm just adding the lines on his head so i did some change with the hand and some change with the hair this is a boy small small changes will bring up big difference i'm just going to make a women now again the figure of the man fir se banana hai figure of the man i'm just making the figure of the man again and for making it a women what you have to do you just have to add a bun over here and this is a women simple and now i am going to teach you three different phases of the girl first girl will be the little girl second girl will girl will be the young girl and third girl will be an adult girl okay so i am going to make them step by step again the figure of the man will be made very simple figures are there very simple a uh, difficult level will be coming after this once we will be making the old man and women figure because in that everything from head to toe is going to change these are the very simple figures you just have to bring some changes in the figures to make it a little girl just add two side ponies that's it this will be the little girl two side ponies means little girl and if i add one side pony so i'm just making the figure of the man 
and if i add one side pony then that will be the young one simple differentiation so this is the figure of the man again one side pony it will be the young girl little girl two ponies young girl one pony women one boy lines on the on the head simple simple differences but for the adult girl i am just doing the changes with the hands as well so make the figure of the man but do not make the hands this time because i am going to tell you that there is a change in the hands make one side pony now like the young girl now you see the hands in these figures are close to the body in this particular figure the hands will be far from the body because i am going to make two lines over here to show that she is wearing a dupatta and this is an adult girl i am just bringing it close to the camera a bit first figure of a girl two pony second one pony third pony with dupatta and the hands are far from the body these are the three phases of the girls clear to everyone are you guys enjoying can i get some reactions jaldi se and 74 people are there in house i want everybody to draw along thank you so much for the reactions i guess everybody is enjoying the session if yes i need some responses yeah thank you so much all of you okay now i have decoded all the figures to make it easy for all of you you guys are finding it easy now if you are going it is step by step you guys are finding it easy yes so because i have decoded all the figures agar maine decode nahi kiya hota to ye easy nahi hote ye typical hote right so now i am going to make the figures of an old man or women i have decoded the figures of the old man and women as well so just write old man put a slash and write women in these figures old man and women i have decoded all the figures but everything from head to toe is going to change so i'm just going to make the first figure for that just make a k and let me tell you we will be making three different phases of an old man and women first old man has a straight back second old man has a humpy back third old man has a very tilted back so just make a k for the first old man join the lines in solid both the sides this is the old man with the straight back this is the back the straight line is the back now i'm making one line in the center and the circle over there for the head right leg formation will be there this person is facing towards right right leg formation now i am just going to make the hands and the hands will fall towards right so i'm just making a v for a hand make a v and make another v just below this and make a curve and make the stick this is the old man with the straight back easy easy hai na not typical at all great now here comes the second old man with the humpy back i'm making a slant line making the semi circle making the triangle just below this solid this portion solid this portion as well i'm making the right leg formation again now you see the neck is straight in this in this the neck will be slanting so as the head this person has the hump on his back in this the hands are like a v in this the hands will be like a tick mark and here comes the stick yes this is the old man with the straight back this is the old man with the humpy back okay i have to repeat it slant line semi circle triangle attached to it solid the upper body solid the lower body as well make the right leg formation make the slant neck line so as the head make the hands like a tick mark and here comes the curve with the stick old man with the humpy back and now third one i'm just going to make the old man with a very tilted back bahut buzurg hai very tilted back trick again make a bird kind of a thing we used to make such birds between the mountains in our childhood 
i told you this is the old man with the straight back this is the old man with the humpy back okay and now i'm making this and i'll write the name okay so this is a bird kind of a thing we used to make it between the mountains in our childhood nostalgic kind of feeling so i am just making one line from here one line from here one from here one from here solid this portion solid this portion as well i'm making the right leg formation again in this the neck was straight in this the neck was slanting in this the neck will be horizontal hands will go more down like a tick mark and here comes the stick this is the old man with the very tilted back i hope it is clear to all of you is it clear to all of you yes can i get some responses are you guys enjoying wow super excited wonderful people very nice now i'm just going to cover two birds and two i have to repeat the third one okay i'm just repeating it very quickly bird kind of a thing like this one line from here one from here soliding this and soliding this as well one line from here and one line from here horizontal neck line right leg formation hands will be more like a tick mark go, do, go down more like a tick mark and here comes the stick this is the old man with the humpy back now to make it a women just make a bun over here make a bun over here and make a bun over here this is an old woman now i'm just going to cover up two birds and two animals two birds and two animals okay so first bird make a hollow circle put a dot and make a cone make the slant line make the semi circle make another semi circle which is hollow third one goes solid follow me and i am using all the basic shapes all the terms are being used by me if you can hear it that i am just using all the shapes in front of all of you okay two big big slant lines two two small slant lines and here comes the triangle for the tail very very easy okay this is a normal bird second one is a bird which is standing cross leg the bird which is standing cross leg so i'm just going to make a hollow circle put a dot make a cone again thank you so much for the reactions you remember the second last curved line just make this curved line for the neck now i'm making the mango motif first mango motif for the body and the curves inside the body now there is a way of making the legs cross legs banane ke liye there is a way of making the legs i'm going to tell you that as well just make the line horizontal line like this and stretch it towards right vertical line like this stretch it towards left and make the small small slant lines this is a bird which is standing cross leg i hope this is also clear to all of you okay now two animals i'm just quickly making two animals you can consider first animal as goat or dog any of the things can work and second you have to guess which is the animal i am going to make it half of it make a slant heart solid it then make a slant line for the neck now remember i taught to you that this particular broad cross these two are used for the animal figures copy the last broad cross over here solid this solid this as well making a tail like this 
then i am making the slant line straight line and dot 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 this is the first animal covering up the second one very quickly guess the animal i am making half of it one straight line just make one straight line make the spiral make a line for the separation keep the dot what is which is the animal which is this animal can anybody guess yes sneha rupali yeah everybody is correct correct and trust me the moment i'll complete this elephant now you will say that ma'am this is the cutest elephant i have ever seen okay so i'm just making the elephant body like this i'm leaving some space from below i'm making the front legs like this back legs are smaller making the spiral for the ear making the elephant cloth like this last one goes solid and here comes the tail this is the elephant i know this is the cutest one isn't it yes yes rupal says wow <laughs> okay so with this we are done with the things thank you so much akanksha rupal stuti everybody okay rupali i have to repeat it again one is straight line spiral one line for the separation keeping the dot elephant body like this leave some space from below make a line make the front legs make the small small back legs make the spiral make the elephant cloth like this and here comes the tail yes yes shilpa <laughs> yes lavi thank you so much and now i am going to show you guys the full page and how many of you have joined the class late may i you can just write me in the chat box i am just going to repeat my introduction then okay lot of people are there all right so guys i am repeating my introduction for all of you and you guys can take the screenshot of the page as well so hi everyone my name is varsha shivastava i am from lucknow uttar pradesh by profession i am a hand crafted jewelry designer i am an entrepreneur i am an online educator and the social activist too in the field of paper jewelry i hold a word as well as national record i have been awarded from the central ministry of india as well as many state ministries and the governors of two states and i am also an empanel designer and artisan from the ministry of textiles of india it's been more than 8 years i'm working in the field of paper jewelry and art and crafts and i practice varli meena kari and lot of art forms because of paper jewelry i also give the classes on paper jewelry and meena kari including varli in bit class and i have taught more than 49000 students till now which is another feather on my cap so this is about me guys and okay i have to show the full page again this is the last time i'm showing the full page because now i have to remove the page because i have to show the things whatever i teach and whatever i make in the master class so just take i have, i hope everybody has taken the screenshots now how many of you are excited to see whatever i make and whatever i teach in the master class can i get the names of everybody thank you so much rupal thank you so much priya how many of you are excited let me just see the names of the people okay everybody is excited all right and i am also very excited guys to show you guys whatever i make and whatever i teach in the master class i am going to show you each and everything okay so guys i am ready with my stuff and here you go so guys i am a very 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 big believer of best out of waste whatever whatever things i make i try to make the those things out of the waste products so i have not worked this side these are the cds i have not worked this side because i wanted to show the cd yeah, i am not lying these are the cds only so this is what i have made these are the coasters and this is what i have made okay and you can also make the similar coasters along with me because this is the part of the master class and this particular dance form is the spiral tarpa is a circular tarpa and i am going to teach you the waterproofing technique as well because this is waterproof and waterproofing in four different ways you will be getting to know so once you will waterproof this this will become this will become durable and deepthi this is the craft mat actually the craft cutting mat 
you can just buy it online next is the spiral tarpa so i have made this this is the spiral tarpa and i'm going to teach you this as well in the master class that how to make the perfect spirals okay next i'm going to show you burly on fabric so i am i am just completing this portion actually i'm just completing something like this but i have just made this as well so you see whatever the black portion is this is the pen so i'm going to reveal the name of the pens which you can just use on your fabrics and those pens will stay forever on your cloth because lot of people are not good at brush painting okay next i'm going to show you my paper jewelry i told you that i hold a word as well as national record in that this is what i have made this is waterproof this is durable this is hard and i you will be learning the basics of paper jewelry using the varli art on it i have made the pendants as well so you will be learning this as well from me and yes this is durable this is wearable this is waterproof now i have the wall frame with me so i have just made the wall frame as well so this is one wall frame this is another one and we will be making the wall frame along with the framing of it in the master class this is also the part of the master class guys last but not the least i'm going to show you something really interesting that is the theme wise pattern painting on ivory sheet so i have made different different themes this is varli daily life this is the farming theme this is the wedding theme we will be making this as well in the master class because this is also the part of the master class and if you want to learn the things from me and you want to go to the extreme of it then i have made the spiral tarpa in a different manner as well you can see this so you can just learn the techniques from me and you can just create lot of things on your own i got a call from my student today itself she has started her own startup and she has started painting the walls now so she takes my guidance i am there to guide all of you if you are joining the master class okay is so that how to grow your business everything will be covered in the master class what all things will be covered along with these materials which i have shown i will tell you once the course content will come okay so i am just handing over the session to shivani but before that let me know it from all of 